Blink-182 have reunited with founding member Tom DeLonge and announced a 2023 stadium tour. The classic lineup of DeLonge, Mark Hoppus and Travis Barker will also release a comeback single called Edging on Friday. Check out the tour dates, which include North American shows with support from Turnstile, at the bottom of the page, and watch the characteristically juvenile announcement video below. The band will release a new album next year, according to a press release. One of the most prominent bands to emerge from the Southern California punk scene named Blink-182 achieved mainstream success in the early 20s. Arriving in the midst of the pop-punk boom sparked by Green Day, Blink-182 gained a huge fan base with their uplifting and energetic songs. At a time when rivalry with teen pop and new metal was unheard of, they broke through with their third album, 1999's Enema of the State, releasing a steady stream of hits backed up by hilarious music videos. Blink-182 was formed in suburban San Diego by Tom DeLonge, Mark Hoppus, and Scott Rayner. They were originally known simply as Blink, and the band debuted in 1993 with the self-released IPI Fly Swatter. Then after releasing the album Buddha in 1994, the trio signed with Grilled Cheese or Cargo and released Cheshire Cat the following year. The threat of a lawsuit from the Irish band that goes by the name Blink forced them to change their name to Blink-182, but that didn't stop them, they instead earned a higher profile by touring the world with Pennywise and Nofex from 1996 to 1997 on the Warped Tour, they also appear in countless skate, surf or snowboarding videos. The third Blink-182 LP Dude Ranch was released jointly in 1997 by Cargo and MCA, Dude Ranch expanded their audience and went platinum in late 1998, in part due to the popularity of the teen song Damn It. The band is also officially signed to MCA, who released the band's fourth album entitled Enema of the State in the summer of 1999. The album produced by Jerry Finn also welcomed a new member into the band's lineup, whose name was Travis Barker who was previously in the band. Aquabats. Travis settled on drums after Rayner left midway through an American tour in 1998, then Enema was met with success and helped the band achieve mainstream status as the king of humorous pop-punk. Driven by the commercially successful singles What's My Age Again, All the Small Things, and Adam Song. The music videos for the three songs were also a huge hit on MTV. After selling over 4 million copies of Enema of the State, the trio played with the limited edition releases of The Mark, Tom, and Travis show in the fall of 2000, and the album featured their radio hits in a live setting. Then the album Take Off Your Pants and Jacket was released in the spring of 2001, and saw the band return to their punk roots and become their first number one album in America. Then Such Maturity came with a self-titled album in 2003 released in Geffen. This album not only featured the song All of This featuring Robert Smith from The Cure, but the song I Miss You also topped the modern rock charts in 2005. But in 2005 and February 2005, Blink suddenly announced that they were going on an indefinite hiatus, supposedly spending more time with their growing band. Enlisting fans' help in selecting tracks, the band put out greatest hits that November. The band members also continued other projects, Barker previously releasing albums with DeLong as a boxcar racer and continuing to play with transplants and running his clothing company Famous Stars and Straps, and his family was also featured on the MTV reality show Meet the Barkers. Then Hoppus continued his business namely Atticus and started producing which started with Commit This to Memory from the Motion City soundtrack, and became the host of his own health clinic, then he started working with Barker in a new band called Plus Fortifor. Tom DeLong also continued work with clothing company Macbeth, and officially announced his new project Angels and Airwaves that fall. 
While still on hiatus in 2008, the band experienced several personal setbacks including the death of longtime producer Jerry Finn who suffered from a brain hemorrhage and heart attack, eventually being removed from his life support and passing away that August. Then in September both Travis Barker and his frequent collaborator Je AEM were seriously injured in a plane crash in which the pilot and two of Barker's colleagues died. Ultimately it took Barker 11 months to fully recover from his injury and left the drummer suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. The accident prompted Hoppus and DeLong to reconnect with the drummer to support his recovery, and in 2009 Blink announced that they were reuniting, touring with Weezer for their reunion tour. They went into the studio later that year and began laying the groundwork for a new album, which would be interrupted by a delay until 2011 when they were finally able to release their sixth studio album titled Neighborhoods. Despite growing evidence of friction within the band, Blink toured throughout the remainder of 2011 and joined My Chemical Romance, Rancid, and Against MI on the 10th annual Honda Civic Tour. The 20th anniversary tour found the band members coming together again in 2012, Later that year Blink parted ways with Interscope, and their transition marked the release of their self-produced IPI Dogs Eating Dogs. After a series of sold-out tickets in Los Angeles in 2013 as well as a headline appearance at the Reading and Leeds festivals in August 2014, Blink began discussions about a follow-up to Neighborhoods, however in January 2015, Mark Hoppus and Barker were quoted in Rolling Stone as saying that DeLong had left the band and was leaving the band. Announced the possibility that Matt Skyba of the Alkaline Trio would fill in as guitarist for the upcoming show. DeLong then quickly replied via Facebook that he had not quit Blink, and that any decision for the band to move forward was made without him. In the end Matt Skyba officially joined Blink and the band entered the studio at the end of the year to start recording new songs, the first taste of the new trio was Bored to Death which was released in April 2016, then their seventh LP titled California was released that summer and debuted. At number one, which was just before they started a tour featuring All Time Low and All American Rejects. That same year Blink also released a career-long vinyl anthology, Box Set, which featured the band's six pre-California studio albums. The group returned to the studio to begin recording follow-ups, and in the years between Blink's releases they tended to their other musical responsibilities. Matt Skyba recorded another album with the Alkaline Trio, while Barker added many collaborations to his growing resume, including work with Youngblood, Machine Gun Kelly, Xtree Tentacion, and others. Meanwhile Mark Hoppus debuted Simple Creatures, his side project with Alex Gaskarth of All Time Low which released a pair of IPI. Then in 2019, Blink returned with the ninth set entitled Nine. Although the album cover is bright and colorful, Nine features dark lyrical content stemming from Hoppus' struggles with depression. The LP includes the singles Blame It On My Youth and Happy Days, then in 2020 the band returns with the single Quarantine. 